Hey guys, Chef Jamal here with Feed the Mass. We are so excited to present our special guest today. It's gonna to be Rosie. Hi. Uh, we are taking a trip to Haiti and we are ready to cook some amazing food. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cultured Cooking. My name is Chef Jamal with Feed the Mass. We are so excited. Today we are stamping our passport and we are going all the way to Haiti. But before we do all that, we would like to introduce our special and amazing guest, Rosie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, today we are going to introduce you guys to some of your favorite meals or your dad's favorite meals. Yeah, tell us what's going on. What are so we cooking? It's my dad's favorite meal and today we celebrate his 12 year of passing and i wanted to kind of dedicate it to him and he loves haitian foods and especially chicken <laughs> chicken <laughs> yes yes so uh we're going to make what i call diri jonjon um and that's rice and peas it's just black rice um and we're going to make fried plantains and mm gravy oh yes that sounds so yummy yes. i'm ready to start cooking because i am ready to start eating yes. all right so let's take you guys on a little tour of what we're going to be working with uh to get started so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cook our rice okay so our rice is going to consist of about two cups of white rice uh same amount for water a little bit of coconut milk some green peas and then some garlic powder, and then the magic, right? The magic. This is the magic. This is what makes the rice the rice, yes. right? So it's gonna be, I think you described it as like mushroom powder, right? But yeah. you know it as something else. So it, we call it uh, Maggi Jon Jon, um, and that's, it's pretty much mushroom. Mushrooms. Um, bald and Maggi. Ooh. <laughs> So we're getting color and flavor out of this yes. guy. Oh man, I yes. can't wait. I've never had that before. So uh, I just want to taste it right away. Yeah. Also with that rice, we're going to be chopping up uh, some onions, right? And then there will also be some tomato paste as well, which we're going to fry up a little bit and add it in there. So the rice, that's going to be that. Um, so we're going to start with that. But then we have a pot to fry some chicken in and we're going to have another pot to kind of make that gravy yes. and then some more vegetables that we can introduce a little bit later. And I'm going to take this up to about medium high. And if you want to get that to 360 okay. plus one, perfect. Okay. Great. Perfect. So what is the first thing that we need to do for this rice? So the first thing we need to do is cut the onions. Cut the onions? Yes. Okay. In pretty fine, like dices. Dices? Yeah. Okay. I, when I was growing up, I was fortunate enough to grow up in Brooklyn, New York, right? Nice. Yeah. It's nice. I ate some really good food, let me tell you. <laughs> That's where the Caribbean food is. That's where it lives. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I had a neighbor who was Haitian and I've only went over there like three or four times for food, but it was always so good. Mm -hmm. So good. So I'm excited to see if this is going to also rekindle some like childhood memories. Hopefully. I hope so too. <laughs> So today we're making this rice dish uh, with chicken. Is there another protein that someone can use? Can we do like tofu? Can we do just yes. beans? Can you we can just do beans. beans? What I like about Haitian food is not strictly like just meat. Yeah. You can always, um, if Ooh. you're vegan, you can definitely um, do some vegan food with that. Um, add tofu or you can just the, the rice itself with the beans is okay. fine. Okay. Um, the sauce without the chicken mm -hmm. is, is good as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good yeah. to know. We could use the rest for the, the sauce. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's perfect. Great. Yep. And then after <sighs> that, we add this magi. One or two? We could add one. One? Mm hmm And we add these two. These two as well? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, and we're done with this guy, huh? That we can use for the sauce or the oh, chicken. Oh, okay, yep. so we'll place that aside then. Mm -hmm. So after that, we add the um, the peas. Okay, do you want to put that in sure. for us? Put that in there. Nice, is that nice And just let simmer, let that cook a little bit. So I won't touch it, I'll just let it sit. Just let it sit for a little bit. Okay. Okay. A little more? Oh, cool. uh, no, that's fine. Let it cook a little bit more. So what we want, we want the magi to kind of like um, 
melt? Melt a little bit. Oh, uh -huh. look, it's melting right now. I can see yeah. the I can see the, the the color at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. That's really cool. And like if you if you stir it up a little bit more, like you'll see that it'll be turning black. Oh yeah, this whole thing's turning mm -hmm. black right now. Onions and all. Yeah. Oh, and it smells. Ooh, it's amazing. Good lord. <laughs> And now we're using green peas. If you can't find green peas, is there another if you can't, If you can't find green peas, you can also do it without the green peas. Okay. Um, or you can use um, pigeon beans or sweet peas. Sweet peas, yeah. okay. Some okay. people use corn. Oh yeah. Yeah, and if you like shrimp, you could add shrimp in there too. Ooh. Yeah, I'm allergic to shrimp, so I don't use it, but. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, so now you can add uh, two spoons of that. Two spoons. Yeah. Those are the measurements or, I know. Yeah, one, mm -hmm. another one. Yep, perfect. Great. Yeah, and then you just stir that up. All right, stir it up. Yes. Look at that, that instantly turned to black. Do you see that? Doesn't that look beautiful? That looks so good. And then we're gonna put this in here and bring the water up to a boil. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. and I'll just crank that up a little bit. Let that rot. Oh, I forgot the garlic. We can add it now? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we're adding a pinch of garlic in there too. Do we yeah. need any salt or pepper? Um, a little pepper. A little pepper. Zoop. So with the chicken, we what you want to do is um, take it out. What I usually do is put some lemon mm -hmm. and some vinegar. Let it sit a little bit. Yeah. You know? So you kind of like wash it a yeah. little bit? Okay. Yeah. And then afterwards I put this guy. Oh, right. So that's the green sauce that you were talking about uh -huh. earlier, right? Yes. So that's, tell us what's in that again. So what's in here is scallions, green peppers. We put a little bit of maggi in there, um, parsley. Ooh, okay. And sometimes if you want it really spicy, you could put some like, um, bonnet oh scotch, scotch bonnet, bonnet peppers yeah. oh, okay this is the sauce that i use too ah. i use this sauce for like if i'm making uh like salted cod cakes or something okay. like that okay that's my green sauce so this See? is your green sauce that's it great that's it i'm so familiar all right <laughs> what's next so then um we put that in here you could put one it's fine or two okay um and we got some garlic going and then we put some bell peppers on it too. Do you want me to cut up some bell peppers for us? Yes. All right. Put but me to work. This, and the thing is, the bell pepper, when it goes on the sauce, it's amazing. Oh, okay. So it like hangs out with the chicken for a while mm -hmm. and then it still goes into the sauce. Yeah. Mm. It's like a little family of, family of food. So then you, can, you can do one scallion. Okay, one scallion too. All right, so I'm taking out the seeds from these guys. Yes. And as you and you just add some Larry's if some you want Larry's to. to Sometimes it. people don't, but I do. That's all right. Yeah, I like flavor. All right, all right. So this mixture is boiling right now. So. Oh yes. Let's talk next steps. All right. So we put the rice in. The rice in. Mm -hmm. And we stir that up. So it was two cups of long grain rice, peas, mm -hmm. the Maggie's uh, seasoning, coconut yeah. milk, and garlic. You should bring that up to a boil first. Uh-huh, you can put it up. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> All and right. then how would you like these chopped up? Dices, skinny guys? Skinny, long away. Long skinny guys. Mm -hmm. So this is like your dad's favorite dish, right? Yes. Oh. He He's like, he loves Haitian food. He won't go without it. <laughs> and I think my mother spoiled him. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Yes. So what does he do when he has to go out to eat? Well, because we lived in Boston, um, there's Haitian food everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, there's Haitian restaurants everywhere. So we go to the restaurants, but he just really loves my mom's cooking. So every Sunday we would do um, Sunday dinners. Mm -hmm. You know, and like my mom would cook and of course my dad would get the big piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, he loved it. He likes um, what you call grill, um, which is fried pork. Oh, okay. Yeah, he likes that. Um, and his rice and peas. Rice and peas. Yeah. I love rice and peas, but I feel like I just 
I met my match. I feel like someone else likes rice and peas more than I do. Oh yeah, he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I will start cutting up this red pepper, right? To yes. add to that. Exactly. Yep. Okay. And we're just, we just need half of it for it? Just half. All right, mm -hmm. so I'll cut that right away. Now let's just peek at this rice so everyone can see what's going on. It's only been a couple of minutes, but oh my goodness. Mm. Peas are breaking down. The color is black, just like you said it would be. That's really, really cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can see the rice cooking already too. Yep. And usually you just want to stir it up. Stir it? Yeah. The bottom too? Mm -hmm. just, yeah, just a little bit. So you said something about the crusty, getting that crusty bottom on there, right? That crust oh. in the bottom is everything. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, this is really good. <laughs> All right, so got that going. And yeah. can we keep adding water or should we just like kind of let it rock and roll the way it is? Just let it, ste let um, it um, steam. Okay, yeah. cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool. We'll do that. And you could put the, um, like put it, is that the highest it goes? No, it can go, it, go it lower, goes higher. Lower, lower. So I just bumped it down to 280. Yep, that should be fine. All right, so awesome. we adjusted our heat from like medium high when we had everything up at a boil. <clears throat> Now we're gonna bring everything down to like a low, low simmer. So for us, that's about 280 on our little cool inductions. But for you at home, that just means, you know, getting it to as low as possible because we want a little bit of a crunch, crunchy bottom, mm -hmm. but the rest of it to kind of steam and cook mm -hmm. the way a rice would. Yeah. Great. I'm gonna chop this guy up, right? Get that going. So what's next for the chicken after I cut this? So after the chicken, we'll just, you know, kind of like rub the seasoning on mm -hmm. the chicken. Um, I'll put uh, some tomato paste on it just to give it some color. Tomato paste, mm -hmm. here those for you. Right. And so after you do that, you just kind of- Mix it all together? Mix it all together. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. So the chicken took on that nice color like you talked about, right? Yes. And I can see, you can see through the bag, or we can take it out of the bag, sure. how much the vegetables have started to break down already, right? So it's probably yes. just like releasing all of that water mm -hmm. and the juices. Yes. Oh my goodness. And you can smell the seasoning. <laughs> I, all right, turn it all off. I got this from here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat all of this. I, that's, that's my promise to you. <laughs> yeah. That looks so good and it smells so good. Yes. Okay. So this is, this is it. All right, so that's the chicken. That's the mm -hmm. chicken at its finest, right? Yep. So now we're gonna, you said we're gonna fry this. Yes. We're gonna fry this in the, in the fryer. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for 350 degrees and we've had this on for probably a solid 20 minutes. So let's see what we got. But yeah, 370. All Great. right. So, right. so we have a little tray here uh, with our insert so we can put the chicken on for when we're done frying. Yes. All right, so I'll give you the honors oh, or would you like me to I do it? I would like you to do oh, okay. it. Okay, yes. absolutely, I can do that. All right, so we'll just go and put it in here. Just like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a party. Yes. So we fry it so we can get a little darker, mm -hmm. so we can have more color to it. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So we'll let that rock and roll for a little bit. Mm -hmm. When it's done, now are we cooking it fully in here or just we're like just kind of crisping it up, getting the color. Fully. Fully cooked in we'll there. Well, get it crisp. I mean, it'll, it'll be cooked in, because it's already, the oil's already hot. Yeah. So it's eventually cooking okay. through. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. Because we're also going to take that chicken and then make our like sauce and gravy with exactly. it. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I think I'm starting to catch on. <laughs> oh, do you want to check the rice? We'll check the rice again. <clears throat> Just steaming away. Now that looks good. All right. So rice done. And then mm -hmm. I can cut up the rest of this pepper. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. And so the um so when you leave it in the refrigerator for a while, mm -hmm. the so now the onions and the pepper is marinated with the seasoning. So it's so much easier to do the sauce with that. Oh yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That's a nice little nice little way to do things. So you're the, cooking, you're the cutting 
king. I'm the, I'm one of the cutting kings around here. <laughs> we like to share the duty. All right, so we've cleaned up our station a little bit and our rice was done. So we just kind of set it aside with the lid on. So now we are going to work on uh, taking our chicken out and then moving on to our plantains and our sauce. Yes. Great. So we're going to take a peek at our chicken, right? Which we've kind of turned once. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Mm. These guys are done. Nice so we golden. will take these out. These are nice and golden or 165, you know, whichever comes first. <laughs> and these have tons and tons of wonderful color. Oh, this is so good. And it Perfect. smells so good in here. Perfect. Oh, okay. All right. So moving on, we are going to make the sauce. The sauce. Yes. And it's... um. In Creole is sauce pool. Sauce pool. Yes, so it's chicken sauce. Chicken sauce, yeah. that seems simple enough. Uh, medium high. Medium high. Yeah. All right, great. Okay. Add a little bit of oil. Perfect. All right, and just let kind it of let it sizzle a little okay. bit. And then just pew. Now while that's, <laughs> while that's pew pew, right, we can, uh, I can start cutting up the plantains, yes. right? Yes, yes. Now these plantains are going through, we're gonna fry them once yeah. or twice. We're gonna do it twice. Twice. So with, the, with plantains, how we do it, um, so you cut it and then. Right, the tops and the bottoms? Mm-hmm. And one of these? Yes, you know. I know, <laughs> but I wanna hear how you cook it. <laughs> That's exactly how you do it. This is always the tough part with green plantains. They're a little tough to yeah. get the skin off. A cool tip okay would be pass it like under hot water mm -hmm. and it'll, it'll make it a lot easier oh okay yeah. you just go right on oh look it. at that there you go mm. <laughs> well i'm gonna work on cutting those if you want to open this next one for us <laughs> there you go. thank you you're welcome and then i'm cutting little dials or so am like, i cutting like longer yeah like diagonal let me show you oh yeah like this so you would usually do it like this like that. oh big guys okay and then like this and then you just kind of cut this through nice there you go. nice that's simple enough so we have our pan is now hot for mm -hmm. our chicken gravy yes or chicken so sauce what we're gonna do is gonna add some onions okay mm -hmm. like so Salt or pepper or anything? Yes. Wait, this little guy right here. Oh yeah, that has salt in it, right? Mm-hmm. So it's the wonderful green seasoning. Yep. And then we'll add a little bit of this. Okay. Maggi. And this is the guy right here. And the tomato paste. The tomato paste. We'll put this at the end. Okay. Because we don't want to like overcook it. Yeah. That makes sense. And then we're just going to let that fry up. Mm -hmm. So we want it in the pan. Yes. Great. Okay. And you kind of like let that sizzle in. Mm. And remember, we're going to use this right here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So we're going to have tons and tons and tons and tons Flavors and tons of flavor. Yeah. Okay. The tomato paste usually takes a, little, a while because you have to add a little bit of water in yeah. it. But what I'll do is add this little water here. Ooh. Turn that up a bit. Mm -hmm. Great. And there you go. And then what we'll do is add this whole add thing. Add all of it? Mm hmm So now this is all of the bell peppers and onions and seasoning from the chicken that we marinated. Exactly. Marinated mm -hmm. yesterday. Okay. Yep, we're gonna add the chicken. chicken. Mm -hmm. Add the chicken now. Yep. That in there. 
just a whole bunch of flavor going in there. Yeah, this is, this is so great. And after that, we'll add a little water. Water? Yeah. Yeah, we should let it boil a little bit and then we'll add some more water. Okay. It's great. Because we want it we want it to be um, colorful. So the, the, the sauce. Oh, so we don't yeah. want to add too much water right away and then it's all like yeah. liquidy. Got it. That makes sense. Okay, uh -huh. so plantain time, right? Mm-hmm. So we're just gonna fry these like this for how many minutes uh, for the first time? Um, shouldn't take that long if, if the the um, oil is nice and hot. Um, probably like mm, two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah, not okay. too long. Cool. Perfect. Hand this to you. This in here. All right, so we're gonna put that in there for two minutes and then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna press it flat yes. and then fry it again. Fry it again. Oh, so when you fry it again, you wanna put some hot, some water. Some water. Mm-hmm. And that should be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we add some salt. Just to give it some flavor. A little bit of flavor infused in there. Do you want yeah. to pass this fork and then I'll, I'll mm -hmm. whisk it up to mix it all together. <clears throat> so this is just to add flavor to it yeah. in between the frying the, process. The, the, the sauce itself, when you eat it with the, the plantain, mm -hmm. amazing. Tons of flavor. Yeah. Okay. So nice little trick guys, between flying your, frying your plantains, if you're frying it twice, you can add a little salt water mm -hmm. to it, soak in a little salt water, and then fry it again for the second time. Exactly. Oh, this is great. And if you want to um, add some more water to add the Add some sauce. more water to mm -hmm. this. Not too much. Yeah, you could add some more, and some I'll more? add some tomato paste to it if it's too clear. Let's see what we got. So, looking at it, I'll add a little bit of paste on the side. Yes. A little bit more water. And I'll crank that up just so it works. That's all set. So we get this here. Now we're just going to smash it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. There you Look go. at that. Like that. And we just set it aside? Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll put it right into the water, right? Well, not right now. Not, not yet? Yeah. Okay. Because we don't want it too mushy. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Learn something new every day. Nice. There you go. So the second part makes it crispy. Mm-hmm. When we fry it again, it makes yeah. it super crispy. Super crispy. Yeah. Now, so this is like a really good meal. So if there's like 15 more people coming over, would there be other dishes accompanying this? Yes, um, we, all, we have like what you call beet salad. Beet salad. Mm -hmm. That is really good. And then you would have regular salad. <laughs> yeah, like the green salad <laughs> uh -huh. with the dressing and the, yes. And then um, a, you call, we call it macaroni or gatting. What is that? It's baked macaroni. Baked macaroni? Yeah. Like macaroni and cheese? Macaroni and cheese, but we add like um, ground beef in it, but oh. it's like within the, um, they call it bechamel. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. okay. That's, that sounds really tasty. <laughs> okay. Tell me what you think of this sauce. Perfect. Um, just add a little bit more water to it. And more it water? should be good. Okay. Because it already has now the color to it, so that's fine. Yep, and then just like with the um, with the meat, kind of like oh, so like it was a steak. Yeah. I got you. Just yes. take all the sauce, put it right on top. That's how you do it. You know what you can do? Um, add the rest of the water. Add the rest of the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. And I bring that up to a boil again. Mm-hmm. This sauce is thick, it's aromatic. You can just see all of these colors. The meat yes. has a wonderful color to it. It's already like 
mostly cooked, so it's just, guys, <laughs> I mean, you should be here, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll eat it for you. We'll eat it all for you, <laughs> and we'll tell you about it. Or you can tell us about it in the comments below, right? Or reach yes. us, you know, via Instagram on Feed the Mass. Uh, we are so excited to continue these conversations around different yes. food with great stories that you've told us about today and oh, mm -hmm. I'm so excited to taste this. All right, <laughs> so now we have these uh -huh. plantains mm -hmm. smashed, fried once, a little bit of salt water. Yes. Walk me through what's happening next. So what we do, we put it in the water mm -hmm. and then... Oh, just a quick dip? Yep. Okay. And then we put it right in here. Okay. I'll switch sides with you and I'll take them out. Okay. How long are we... These ones are not too long. Like another... Once it once it you can see the crisp like probably like a minute mm -hmm. you just take it off okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my sister likes hers really burnt and i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> that's not for everyone but not for everyone. she's always like rosie burn mine i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I'll, I'll let that go because it's a little softy soft I think we can fit one more right in one the middle more? there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I'm just gonna grab another tray with some paper towels so they can sure. drain. And while you do that, I'll just add this in here. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. All your veggies that you need for the day. And I feel like that's a whole dish. Like just give me that pan and a fork it and like is. the rest of the day and I'll, I'll take care of that. The rest. And the thing is, it's like once you finish eating this, you're like, you want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be happening. <laughs> All right. So I'll pick up one so I can show you. Or two. Yes. A little bit longer or just like that? That looks good. It's been hard enough. Okay. Yeah. All right, Dan, check this out. Look at this. Look at that. Little fun bits there. Everything's going to be a little crispy. And it's going to go so well with that really tasty sauce and that black rice, green peas, and onions. Mm-hmm. All right, Rosie, as Perfect. we're like, we're getting to the, the end, mm -hmm. towards the end of the meal, you know, of making it, not eating it. Um, can you tell everyone where they can find out about more dishes that you have and more Haitian cuisine stuff that you have going on? Sure, I have, um, you can check me out on my social media, which is Evni Haitian Cuisine. Um, that's on Instagram. And um, that's where you find my good cooking. I post a whole lot of pictures, so. Go ahead and look at the pictures. You might not be able to taste it, but you get to see it. <laughs> That's all right, I'll taste for you guys. I'm your dedicated taster from now on. So are we gonna fry the rest of these too? Um, sure. Oh yeah, you have to do your little, do the bath situation. <laughs> Put it right in here. So we have now our rice, we have our plantains finishing up on their second fry, and then our chicken gravy is just waiting for us. Yeah, we're it's good. done? Yeah. Okay. Let me take these guys out. It's a little crispy, happy nuggets of joy. <laughs> Put it onto our little paper here so they can drain out and not stay oily. Stay nice and crispy. Perfect. And turn that off. Mm -hmm. Before we dive in, I just want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you, Rosie, for letting us, you know, go through this experience together. I am so excited to try everything, but I'm gonna say bye first so they don't have to watch me eat. 
You can stay if you want. It's totally cool. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Culture Cooking. My name is Chef Jamal. Our guest here, Rosie. Uh, we took a nice little trip to Haiti and we cooked some beautiful Twi Fries plantains, a little bit of chicken that's been marinating overnight, and then our rice and pigeon peas uh, that has that wonderful, wonderful black color on there. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you like and subscribe and you follow us. Feed the Mass on YouTube and on Instagram. We're making more videos like this and more all year long and we're gonna have a cool library for you guys. So stay tuned. Thank you. All right, time to try this. Yes. Cause this is fuego. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tell you what, that's really good. <laughs> I was, yes. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna get this for you. This is for me. Okay.